So my beautiful people, I am back with another Outriders video. And today guys, I want to bring you a little bit of information. Basically to help you guys out, more so for those solo players, on the quickest way of leveling up that Apocalypse tier, that Ascension level, because at the end of the day guys, that's what this game is all about now. You may as well get to that top tier level before you start really, in reality, grinding for all the weapons, all the new armors, otherwise you're going to spend a shed of materials trying to level each piece up. So what I'm doing is, I'm going to get to top level, unless I find that perfect geared item, then I will store it in my vault. But mainly, uh, until I get to top level, what I'm doing is, I'm just I'm just farming, I'm just, just grinding, I'm just waiting, because at the end of the day that top level is where the good stuff starts so what is the quick way in getting there now we know we have the apocalypse tiers and we have the ascension levels and there's a lot guys and there's a lot of the ascension uh things you can use points i think there's like 200 in total you can get i'm only at a level 28 which is crazy but i haven't played that much i'm not gonna lie even though i had early access i kind of held off in um playing it until basically uh the pre-order early access that's when i actually started and i've probably put in about five hours mate probably not even that guys probably not even that my packs is done completely but it's all about the ascension it's all about uh the apocalypse because like i said you want to get up to a uh, tier 24 it's just it just it's just the way forward because at the end of the day like i said all that top gear that top level gear starts dropping in and around this level so the quicker you can get here the better so what is the quickest way now in my opinion i've played a ton of i've done a lot of the new end game the uh the new trials but it just takes an absolute shed of time in getting through all these if you want to do it you can go through to all these um these troves these are uh, the individual activities you do get a, a bit of xp for each one but at the end of the day guys once you've gone through all these and got to the last boss and fought the last boss you ain't getting that much uh, xp in my opinion anyway you ain't getting that much ascension level xp that apocalypse tier xp i mean you get a good chunk but don't get it twisted but it isn't the quickest way in my opinion the quickest way and especially if you're a solo player but if you have got a team that can rush through things quickly is 100 percent expeditions expeditions just playing them on level so what playing them on your tier but if you've got the latest one unlocked, it's just way, way, way quicker. And I can solo basically any of these super, super quickly, super, super easy. Yes, it's all build dependent. Uh, but if you are in a team, I mean, in my opinion, expeditions are definitely, guys, they are definitely the way for. I actually backed out of an expedition just to record this video. I was actually doing good. I've probably got this junk. Yeah, typical, typical, typical. But yeah, so expeditions, in my opinion, are by far the quickest way. I've tried all the old tricks. I've tried a few story missions. I've tried this, that, and the other across the water, the swamp, whatever it is. I've tried a lot of that. None of them seem to drop a uh, decent XP. It's definitely the longer ones as well, guys. Keep that in mind. The longer expeditions, the ones with more enemies in, seem to be much, much quicker. Especially the ones with more enemies in. It makes sense. More enemies, more XP. But hey, like I said, if you're in a team and you can lay down that damage um the ones with more enemies you just take out much much easier earn a ton of xp and you'll fly up those those uh, tiers now i'm i'll probably say it probably takes 10 expeditions up to 10 to get a tier up especially where i'm at now i probably actually you know what 10 is probably a stretch i'd probably say between five and ten depending on the one i'm just picking any um boomtown can plant the shorter ones obviously drop lesser xp that's in my my stance anyway that's what i've kind of come across but some of them just give you a a ton what's the one i was doing just um star is quite decent um but yeah the ones that take longer are much much better it, you think eye of the storm as well gives you a ton it really don't it really don't me and my uh my pals who storm through this we got a bit of XP, I'd probably say about half an inch on the bar. But nothing too crazy. But still, expeditions, in my opinion, are definitely better than new trials. New trials are good for apocalypse gear. Um, but you get plenty of apocalypse gear from expeditions too. I mean, most of my good stuff has come from uh, expeditions, to be honest. To be honest, I'm still working on my tickle tickle build. 
Um, but yeah, it's going good. It's going good. Quite enjoying it, not going to lie. But yeah, guys, just wanted to drop a video uh, for people out there, especially solo players, because expeditions are the way forward, in my opinion, until you get to that end, end game. But hey, it is what it is. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more outriders, be sure to subscribe and hopefully it might be beautiful, people. I will see you on that next one.